All right, guys, it's Stephanie Graham, stephaniegrahams.com. And I'm just going to continue on with the training series here on TikTok. So what I did was, let me see here. Here's the arm. Remember the arm pattern looked like this whenever you printed it out um, or purchase it? Well, you can manipulate these patterns to make it look like your bear is wearing clothes like I did in this drawing. And so I cut the paw part off and now I need to make four paws of the chocolate brown because his face, his paw, and the sole of his foot, those are all going to be chocolate brown. So I did the same thing with his leg. Um, where's the pattern at? And here's the leg. This is the top of the leg. So this is what it actually looked like when I did cut it out. All right, so to give you a better idea. The pants um, are plaid, or yeah, are plaid. Okay, so here is the paw. And I need four of these, and I need four of these. So I'm just going to fold my fabric in half. So I interface the fabric. Now I'm going to fold it in half here. And then since I need four, I'm going to fold it again. All right, that way you don't have to cut four times technically. Now, let's see here. I don't need it that big. This is the biggest piece, so I don't need to waste that much fabric. All right, and they both fit with space. Let's see if I can scoot this over. There we go. I just take my pen and I dot the line up here just for visuals for myself. Line it back up. So I'll need four of those and four of these. All right, I'm gonna set those a little bit to the side. Take my scissors. Now make sure you're on the free newsletter at stephaniegrams.com. Uh, I have better classes um, or lessons on my YouTube channel. And also the new classes start January 2024. They're self-paced. And you can get on the class now at a discount. All right, so you just follow your pattern piece, cut it out, try to keep all four in line. That's the foot. I'm going to put one pin in there and I will show you how I join the feet and the legs back to sew them. So here are the paws, all right? We needed four. Let me show you how you join these back. Prepare them to be sewn. You want the good sides go together like this. All right, here's this paw. So whenever you do sew these back together, this is how your arm will look like he's wearing a shirt. And then I just 
pin these together like that. I'll set it aside. I'm going to do the same thing for this arm. And remember, this was commissioned, so this is just fabric off of a bolt. Um, whenever you're working on a customer's order and you're using their actual clothes, clothing, you're going to handle this a little bit differently. This The technique is the same. It's just when you go to measure and uh, do your interfacing, you might have to take some other things into consideration. All right, so what I do when I'm done with my pattern pieces is I take these and I put a piece of tape around them and I keep them <laughs> together. That way they are not lost. So here's the arm, tape that one back. And let me see if I can get a leg put together for you before this timer goes off. That way you can see what it looks like. one side two ouch so this is what the leg will look like I just pin these together until I'm ready to sit down and sew them Oh no, I lost my tomato, here we go. All right. Look at all this thread stuck, okay. And you will put these together like this. And you'll kind of get an idea of what it will look like. This obviously is smaller once you start sewing the seams together. All right, so now I need to do the blue jean pants, and I will be back. Scratch that. We are not going to do that. The legs are not plaid. The legs in the belly are blue jeans. So these can go off to the side, and we will recut those legs. Listen, everybody makes a goof. That's why... You'll look at your drawings first. <laughs> 